How valuable to you is Google? How often do you Google something to find out anything? What does it cost you? Zero. Please, nothing is free. I'm thinking people are foolish if you believe you can go onto the internet, sign on to a social media site and expect to have privacy. That's ridiculous. How do, how do these companies make money? Seriously, Google makes money by knowing where you are, what you're buying, who you're with, who your contacts are, who you last talked to, where you're eating your, your dinner. This is how everybody makes money. And to think that you're going to get these free services, seriously, if you want to use free services and you're paying nothing for them, why then are you upset that they're taking the data that you input and selling it? I mean, to expect privacy in this world where hackers can see anything, the government can see anything, um, that our, our telephones, our, our smartphones are designed uh, to spy on us. They have application interfaces that let them access your location, your contacts, who you're calling, um, what you're buying. Why? Because marketers pay a lot of money for that. You know, once you log on to the internet, your privacy is gone. So you have a choice. Keep your privacy or go, okay, well, I'm going to be very careful about what I input. You know, people ask me for my phone number, I just don't give it to them. You know, certain information you do not get. And if I cannot get onto your site, then I'll go somewhere else. Why do we accept smartphones that have the capacity to find my location, turn on my camera, turn on my microphone, look at my contacts, see who I last called, uh, find out what I'm buying on Amazon or, or what have you. Uh, why do we accept that? Because this makes our life easy. I expect everything that I put into the internet to be taken away. If you put it on the internet, someone's going to get it. It's a fact of life. There's no way to prevent it. So what you put into it, you better expect the world to know. So I don't know, I, I use disinformation. You know, for example, I, I bought a house, in a new place in a foreign country, and I said it was in Dominica. Put photographs in. Oh well, no, I, I've never been to Dominica, and I do not have a house there. However, those people who are trying to find me are looking for me. I mean, you know, you have to figure it out yourself. Protect yourself by any means possible. Disinformation, no information, limited information. But whatever you put into the internet, it's, it's gone, man. People are going to be lo looking at it and reading it and watching it. Would any government allow Google, Facebook, Twitter, that, can, that has massive amounts of information on everybody, not just in America, mm -hmm. but in the world, do you think they would allow that just to freely go on it on its way? Of course not. Please, Lord. This is how governments work. You think I'm paranoid? Governments are paranoid. They're all terrified of losing power. Two and a half years ago, someone took 21 million records from the United States First Office of Personnel Management. That means everybody with top secret clearances, uh, everybody who has ever worked for the U.S. government for the past 50 years, Good God Almighty, do you realize what a major coup that would have been in a war? Uh, an, an act of espionage of, of, of the scale of which has never been attempted. And it's, you know, some random person in, in Russia or China probably wandered in and just took it. It's so easy to do. A cyber war would be a very inexpensive war. I mean, Korea has 2,100 hackers. It's a group of government hackers with the capacity to literally take down any country in the world, including the U.S., by any number of ways, hacking into our power grid, shunting the electricity in such a way that all of our transformers burn out across America. Now, we have no electricity. How do you repair it? I don't know. All of our, uh, all of our repair tools are electrically operated. Everything goes south. We don't have any electricity to run the plants to create the food and can them and ship them so that we can eat. Uh, we, we don't have the, uh, uh, the electricity to create fuel from raw oil. We have no, nothing to run our cars on. Uh, we have no lights, we have no heat. Hospitals are down. We have no emergency services. Think about it. Now, there's no nuclear war that could ever achieve that. There would always be pockets of, of we would still have something. But no, if, if hackers really wanted to attack uh, America, a couple of thousand could bring us down financially. Um, why don't they? We, we probably have the ability to do the same thing to them. But no, this, this is, you know, we have let things get out of control and we've done it because we are lazy.